Okay, so hi there folks, we're now in our next video in number theory and we're going to continue our discussion in the theory of congruences. Um, here, we're going to tackle theorem 3.4. Though I need to tell you that there is a redundancy in theorem 3.4 with three, theorem 3.2, I haven't, um, I overlooked this um, actually, but anyways, it's it's part of our of our module, so we need to, to face this, okay? So just a, a quick one then. So the following theorem shows that the two, the two congruences with the same modulus, take note, can be added and multiplied just as with equality. So theorem 3.4 states that, I, I believe this will be very familiar to you, um, let A be congruent to B mod M and C be congruent to M, sorry, C is will be congruent to D mod M. So again, A, con A is congruent to B mod M and C is congruent to D mod M, then if we're going to add the two um, terms on the left-hand side of the congruence, so we have A plus C is congruent to the right-hand side of the congruence, B plus D, so we say that A plus C is congruent to B plus D mod M. And that is for addition. For multiplication, A times C is congruent to B times D mod M. So that's theorem 3.4. So again, this is specifically the fourth part of the theorem 3.2. So we have faced this already. So um, let's have this proof, shall we? So for the proof. Okay. So let's have it in, in two parts. Let's prove one first and then two. So let's move to this. Okay, so this is the one that we want to prove. So we will write in in first as a, as a, as an opening. So since we say that since um, a is congruent to b mod m, and also c is congruent to d mod m. Can I put it? A c is congruent to d mod m. So therefore, um, by theorem 3.1, if I'm not mistaken, uh, theorem 3.1, we can rewrite A as equal to A is equal to B plus L times M, okay? And we can also write that C is equal to, equal to D plus KM, okay? For some L and M, okay. Uh, let's put it in words. For some L and M in the integers, or we can say we can actually read, read this as for for some integer L and M. So if that's if that's true, and we know that it's true, okay. So we have A is going to be mod M. So meaning. We're going to con we're going to de divide um, a by d a by a by m, and then what we'll have is a remainder which is b. So by some certain l, and likewise here we can see this as c will be divided by m, and um, and the remainder will be d, some d, um, wherein m is is the is the divisor. So this is like a, actually this is by the um, we can think of it as by theorem 3.1 or simply this is via the division algorithm. So let's prove um, the first case and the second case. Um, let me have this here so that we can see still the, the first case in our terms. So that we can still see um, the first part in our our screen. So here. So for the first part, what we have is A, A plus C is equal to b b plus l times m plus d plus k times m so what how did this happen we want to have the addition so addition is a plus c um a is equivalent to b plus l m and c is equal to d plus k m so this is equal to further this is equal to, um, let's delete the parentheses, shall we? So we have B plus LM plus D plus KM. Afterwards, let's put all the common common terms together. 
uh, specifically the M's, the ones with the M's. So we'll write the B and D first. B plus D plus LM plus KM. And then what we're going to do is to get the common factor, which is M for this, at least for these parts. So what we'll what we'll write is B plus D. We'll just introduce some parentheses, shall we? Plus um, L plus K. And then we'll just put the M here. It, it's okay to write it there. Um, so with this, uh, we can see so that in this part, A plus C is equal to B plus D plus L plus K times M. So we can think of this as our Q. We can think of this as our R. Right, and this is our our dividend. So what will happen is actually this is congruent now to a plus c. So a plus c by this. So a plus c is congruent to uh, b plus d because that's our remainder mod m. Okay, for some l plus k. Okay, so that's the proof for our first part of the theorem for the addition. For the multiplication, okay, let's have it for the multiplication. So this is part two now. So for the second part, um, we we say that a times c minus b times d. Okay, so here is the tricky part actually because what we're gonna do is we're going to install a um, plus b c and a minus b c over here. So what we're going to have is um, AC minus BC plus BC. Actually, this is just equal to zero, right? Minus BD. And then put them in a parenthesis. So what we have is um, AC minus BC plus what we have is BD minus BD. And then what we're going to do is we'll get the common minimal factor which is C here in this first part. So we have C times A minus B. And we have B in this part. Um, actually, this is C, sorry. This should be C. So it will become zero, my goodness. Okay, sorry. So this should be C, this should be C. Okay, so plus, so the common factor here is B. Let's get the B out, so we have C minus B. Okay, and then right after this, we're going to look at our forms that A is equal to B plus LM, and C is equal to D plus KM. Now we want to transpose the B to the other side to, to get the value of A minus B, so therefore A minus B is equal to LM, and also C minus D is equal to km. So we substitute it here. So what we have is c times lm plus b times c minus d is km. Okay? And then what we're going to get is to get the common factor, which is m. So what we will write is uh, this will become cl plus bk times m. So therefore, what we have in the last part is a times c minus b times d is equal to cl, quantity cl plus bk times m. So what we're going to do next is to transpose the bd to the other side. So what we have is ac equals um, bd, or rather we can write it here, cl plus bk times m plus bd. Wherein we can look at it as a division algorithm, wherein m is the is is a factor of a, okay, of a c rather, and we have some c l plus b k here. And but the thing is, this is the remainder. B d is the remainder. So since that's the remainder, so thus we say that a c is congruent to b d mod m. Okay. So by the definition of congruence. So by the first and second part of this theorem, we say now that the theorem is now um, 
is now proved. Okay. So that's it um, for the proof of the, theor of the theorem. Let's give some examples, shall we? So I'm going to give you some examples of the application of the theorem. So some examples. Okay, so say we have for number one, we have 17 is congruent to minus 4 mod 3. And we have 28 is congruent to 7, also mod 3. So the thing is, if we're going to add both of them, it will be, um, say for example, 17 plus 28, negative 4 plus 7, mod 3 will be the same if we're going to add them. So by theorem, Three point four, the for the theorem that we just proved, or we can say three point two in that matter. Um, Seventeen plus twenty eight is congruent to minus four plus seven mod three. Um, that is that is to say, so seventeen plus twenty eight is going to give us what number? Uh, 3, 15, that's 45, is congruent to positive 3, mod 3. Okay? So, also, we can say by multiplication, also, if we're going to apply multiplication, also by theorem 3.4, um, 17 times 28 is congruent to minus 4, times 3 mod 3 so 17 times 28 is what number I'm not sure 17 times 28 uh, space this becomes 3 this is 8 14 8 plus 14 is going to give us 22 and then 8 times 7 is going to give us 56 so what we have Five, seven, six. Am I right? Okay, so we have five, seven, six. Or rather, it's it's going to be four, seven, six. This is going to be one only. Or rather, this is not one. This is two only. My goodness, two. So we have instead of five, seven, six. This is going to become four, seven, six. My bad. Okay, 4, 7, 6 is congruent to negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, which is still 3. 3. Okay. So you can check it if you want, if you really want to check if it's really true. Okay, so you can you may check it. Or anyways, another wrong thing. This is this should this is a seven way you say right. 3. Um my goodness. 476 is congruent to 7 times negative 4 is negative 28 mod 3. So that's kind of messy. Um, let me write it again. 476. 476 is congruent to negative 28 mod 3. Okay, so that's it. I think that's enough for this video. I have had enough already. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you would like and click subscribe. Okay, thank you very much.